Hi, welcome back Cloud Scholars. I'm your host once again, Kieran Tross. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to properly delete a VM in Azure. So log into your Azure portal and go down to your virtual machines. Once you click on your virtual machine, I want you to click on your virtual machine and I want you to notice Take a note of the disk information. This name is Marketing VM1 OS Disk. And we also want to take a note of the networking information. Now, this information is only needed if you didn't hit the option for delete disk with VM or you didn't choose public IP with the VM. So you're going to take note of this if you didn't do that during the creation. There, there's options for you to delete VM, delete the resources associated with the VM. But since we didn't do that, and I purposely didn't do that in the creating a virtual machine, because I wanted to show you how you go about properly deleting VMs in Azure, and also it will help you with in terms of cleaning up resources within the Azure environment. So now that we have our network interface information, and you also have the disk information. We're going to return back to the Azure Blade. And then we're going to click on Marketing VM. And then we're going to click right over here where it says Delete. And in Azure, what they want to do is make sure that you didn't click on something accidentally. So what you'll see is a lot of times when you click VMs, or actually all the times, or you click Delete any resource, it's going to have you confirm. So go ahead and delete that. So this right here is a force delete. We're not going to go ahead with that option because I want to just uh, show you this route of how to go about doing it. And then we're going to click delete. I'm going to hit the refresh and see if the VM is gone. Give it out a few minutes. Okay, our VM is no longer there, but the resources are still there. So we're going to go down here and go to resource group, and we know that it was in resource group West US. And once we're here, you'll see all the resources within West US. And what I said was, make sure you take note of the different stuff. So right here was the, uh, the network interface card. Um, I apologize, I did not mention the public IP address, which is something you all should take note because Azure will charge you for this. So what we're gonna do is go here, we're gonna click on all of these because all of this is associated with this. Is, and you can see what it is, it's like disk, network interface, network security group, and then public IP address. Now, a network security group was created because we didn't have one. What I will do is I'm gonna create another video which will detail how to create a network security group. For that reason, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And then as always, you see, Azure is telling you again, just confirm. You want to make sure you didn't do it accidentally. And once I click yes, we'll just give it a little minute. And then the only thing left is the virtual network within this resource group. So that was a quick how-to videos. I like to make my how-to videos very quick, very simple, straight to the point, um, and you know, uh, just so you all can get it. So a lot of times I know when I'm looking up something, somebody's explaining stuff for a very long period of time, I'm like, just show me how to do it. So that's pretty much the basis of what how-to videos are for. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. See you next time.